Warning, Hebrews Toys Reviews is not intended for children. It is for adult collectors and the people over the age of 18. Hello everybody, Hebro77 here for Hebro Toys Reviews and today we will be reviewing a very special Klingon, a very special Klingon indeed as for today's toy review we will be reviewing Sir, there is um, some Klingon guy who wants to talk to you Put them on. It is audio only. Of course it is. Well then put the audio on. Open the channel. Hello there. This is Captain Krubus from the Klingon ship Bird of Prey. Uh, XX01. I understand you will be doing a review on Lieutenant Worf, who is now at this point Chief of Security. Well, I hope you do a good job on this review, for if you do not, I shall blow up your ship. Um, I'm not on a ship. I am in a house. Well, then I'll blow up your house. Fair enough. On with the review. Last time when we reviewed this guy, he was junior grade wharf and wasn't even really chief of security and there wasn't a whole lot that was known about his character in season one however in season two after the departure of Tasha Yar he became chief of security and had a whole lot more stories that was done about Klingons and we learned a lot more about his character so this Lieutenant Worf, we can see he's got a silver band which goes all the way across. His forehead is pretty much the same, although in the TV show it had become less rigid -y and less protruse to go with the Klingons that were going along with the movies at that time. And the... Junior Grade War, for an example, came with a silver bacalat, and this wharf came with a orangey, I don't know how to describe this color, but with this color bacalat. He also came with a standard phase is standard issued phaser and a um, display badge which this is Lieutenant Barkley's name badge. I couldn't come out with his. But as you can see, very difficult to stand up on. Uh, but these Star Trek figures do seem to stand up quite well on their own, unlike G.I. Joe's or any other figures you might have in your collection. And uh, some of these wharfs came with swords like this. Or even a dagger, which is um, very unique to only the Klingons. This Lieutenant Worf, this time around, comes with... Uh, he, he does have the stirrups on his the bottoms of his pants. His, um, you know, his shirt is now the, the golden-ish type color that comes with his up and command he is now in charge of weapons tactical and so forth and so on as he stands behind that um, that thing I don't know what its official name for it right now is it escapes it escapes me but um, there really isn't a whole lot of difference in this action figure 
and is in the red shirt action figure except the color pattern maybe and that's about it the only notable differences is the gold uh, outline which was around this uh, Klingon decoration here is no longer there it is just silver um, you can't really see his lieutenant bars because his big head hides those um, other than that this wharf is an essential figure for your Star Trek Next Generation collection and I highly recommend him. Uh, I say all that so that uh, that Klingon guy doesn't blow up my planet. Or, yeah, my planet. Or my house. Well, that about does it for this review for Star Trek Month. And we have... Let's see, today is Wednesday, tomorrow's Thursday, uh, Friday, and then we don't do reviews on Saturday or Sunday, so we have precisely uh, two more, make that three more reviews, and then Star Trek Month will be officially over. Now, the other figures I wanted to talk about, I do have a Generations uh, Wharf. However, I got him in this robe for some reason. I think I was, I, play, I used him as a different Klingon. And I used the robe, of course, to cover up his, his Star Trek uniform. And I do have other Klingons, as you can see here. I don't know if you could see them well enough, including Christopher Lloyd. And I also have the Lieutenant Worf that was dressed in his sheriff's uniform from a holodeck episode entitled Fistful of Datas. And his son, Alexander. Let's see? And we will get into all of these... Oh, and here's what's her name. Her name escapes me at the moment. Uh, but we will definitely get into all of that and a whole lot more when we do um, more Star Trek reviews. Maybe next year for uh, another Star Trek month. Or maybe I'll throw another Star Trek month in this summer. Who knows? But until then... Remember, knowing isn't just half the battle, it's the whole damn war. I'll see you then. Um, sir, that Klingon guy's back. Oh, not again. Okay, I mean... Patch him through. Go ahead. I see you did a really good job on reviewing our Lieutenant Worf. I'm oh, glad. Let your home go for now. Thank God. But next time, and there will be a next time, hmm. we will meet again. Looking and your forward. your home will be in dire jeopardy. See you then. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't he blow up my neighbor's house? Anyway, see you next time when Star Trek Month continues.